Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, today, I wanted to make a quick video showing you guys how to make a program automatically start up when, when, when you start your computer. I kind of covered this in one of my previous videos. I made a video where I covered three methods of how to stop programs from automatically starting up when your computer boots. Uh, the main reason for that was uh, a lot of the time if you have older computers and you people as you as time passes on and you start installing more and more programs sometimes the programs have a setting enabled where it makes itself start when your computer starts and that makes your computer start up super slow and it slows down the entire process um, if you have a SSD that problem kind of fine you don't have to worry about it but if you are using a normal hard drive and you have a lot of programs to start up it will slow down your computer like crazy so that video I made uh, you can go check that video out I might leave the link in the description as well uh, that was to stop your computer from starting up a lot of programs in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to start a program automatically when your computer boots so it it is actually a super easy process it's very simple and uh, I will show you guys how to do it using a virtual machine so um, give me one second I will boot my virtual machine using Hyper-V if you see if you have seen my recent videos I have been doing a lot of tutorials on Hyper-V and how to use Hyper-V step-by-step uh, tutorials but um, I definitely have a lot more videos to make I know I haven't make it uh, I want to make in-depth tutorials on how to set up Windows Server and etc etc but uh, those require a bit of time and recently it's been a bit tough so they are still being planned though. So as this boots, um, I'm just going to pause and I'll wait until, okay, there actually, here it's loaded. Oh, so I just have a generic account here. Let them log in. This is just my test machine I have set up. Once it's, log once it's logged in, then let me do this. I'll do continue with the tutorial. tutorial on how to make a program automatically start up. So let me pause so the video doesn't get long and I'll be back. So let's continue with the tutorial. So uh, what you need to do is open up File Explorer. So we have it open over here and before anything the first thing we need to do is uh, we have to enable hidden files and folders so that we can see hidden files and folders. So to do that, you just have to bring down the ribbon right here, press the arrow, and then hit go to view. And then here, make sure that the hidden items uh, checkbox is checked. So make sure that's checked off so you can see all hidden items. And uh, after that, you want to go to the C drive, then go to users, and uh, then go to the user that you are logged in as or the one that you want the program to start in. Uh, automatically start up so if your username is Bob and you log in as Bob you want program uh, some specific program to open when Bob logs in then go to Bob's account so for me for the purpose of this I'll go to R Parker because that's who I'm logged in as root Parker so I'll go to R Parker now there's a hidden file here that's sh called app data you can see it's hidden because all of these are colored and this is kind of like slightly grayed out so we'll go to app data then go to roaming there's a folder called roaming go there after that go to Microsoft then go to Windows and then you want to click start menu programs startup and then this is the startup folder in uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 it was actually much easier because the startup folder was in the start menu but now it's 
you have to come to this folder. Um, there is a faster way to do to come here. Um, what you need to do is uh, you just have to enter the path the path that's up here you just have to enter it on your uh, on file explorer the address bar here and then it'll come but once you're here you just have to drag in whatever or whatever program you want to automatically start up you just drag and drop it over here so for instance if you want let's say we want Internet Explorer to automatically start up when our computer starts up uh, we have to grab an Internet Explorer shortcut so let me just go to Internet Explorer and then here iExplorer.exe I want to grab this and I'll just drop it in here and pretty much for your for your purpose whatever for program or file or video or whatever you want to start up automatically just drag and drop it over here and once you're done that you're good to go so let's restart our computer or let, let me just log out so I could show you guys that, that this works so we'll sign out we're signed out now and uh, now let's log back in We go to our desktop. Internet Explorer will open automatically. So as you guys just saw, it works. All the startup works fine. Because this was a virtual machine, it kind of took a little bit longer than normal. But your computer will be way faster. So that was pretty much the gist of this video. Uh, the startup folder is a bit more complicated, complicated than um, complicated. Where did I say that? From? Uh, it's a bit more complicated from the previous versions of Windows, but that's how you do it. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. Thank you, and take care.